Nature is beautiful. And that's just a fact. For the past 3.7 billion-ish years, evolution has conducted a symphony of interconnected, interdependent life forms that conglomerate to form the music of animal biodiversity. With that said, let's take a quick trip down to the fiery depths of hell to meet one of the most upsetting animal phyla that we share the planet with. A group of animals that are 100% harmless to humans, but still will make you want to crawl out of your skin and throw your bones away. The horsehair worm. Phylum nematomorpha. But what is a horsehair worm? And why? We'll find the answer to all those questions and more as we continue exploring the Tree of Life. Horsehair worms are also known as Gordian worms from the ancient Greek legend of the Gordian Knot, which told of a knot tied to an ox cart that was so challenging to untie that whoever did so would be destined to rule all of Asia. Simpler times. Gordian worms get their name from their breeding behavior, in which a group of aroused individuals form mating clumps, which appear to us like a knot of writhing spaghetti. But to the worms, I bet it's super sexy. Once the orgy is complete, Females lay a gelatinous string of eggs, which hatch into tiny larvae with mouths covered in hooks. What happens next depends on whether the horsehair worm is a marine or freshwater species. The marine larvae, those of genus Nectonema, are eaten by saltwater crustaceans like crabs, shrimp, and isopods. That unlucky crustacean becomes the larva's home and dining room for the next phase of its life cycle. The worm uses the hooks around its face to burrow through body tissue, and it settles into the host's main body cavity, the hemocole. There, it curls up real cozy and absorbs nutrients directly from the host's hemolymph, the arthropod equivalent of blood. When the horsehair worm grows into its adult form, it emerges into the water and goes about its business. The effect that this ordeal has on the host varies between species, but generally speaking, Growth becomes limited because they're sharing every meal with a gigantic parasite, and reproductive organs are damaged to the point that they can't function. Overall, the host of a marine horsehair worm has a pretty rough experience. But their freshwater cousins, order Goidioidea, add an extra step to their development that brings things to a whole new level of unfortunate. Freshwater nematomorpha usually lay their eggs among aquatic plants and the newly hatched larvae have two different methods for entering a host, depending on their species. For those that infect plant-eating insects, the larva stays on the plant until it's consumed, commonly by grasshoppers, millipedes, or cockroaches. For species that target carnivores, the larva is ingested by small aquatic insects, such as mayfly larvae, where they remain small and undeveloped until the smaller insect is eaten by a larger predatory insect. Once inside their final host, the horsehair worm grows and develops into an adult. At this point, the parasite faces a problem, returning to the water from within its land-dwelling host. The solution, however, is pretty straightforward. The worm controls its host's nervous system and forces it to drown itself. The worm then emerges, sometimes measuring up to a meter in length, and swims off into the sunset. If you know me at all, you know that I have a soft spot in my heart for the animals that receive the least amount of love. And horsehair worms certainly aren't going to be winning any popularity contests anytime soon. But unless you're an arthropod, you have absolutely nothing to fear from these animals. They don't bite, they're not poisonous, they don't transmit disease, and they want absolutely nothing to do with people. Adult horsehair worms lack a functioning digestive system only taking in nutrients from their host as larva. So instead of searching for food, the only thing an adult nematomorpha needs to concern itself with is finding a bunch of hot friends and tying the knot. Next week, what has a squishy body, stubby little legs, and captures prey by shooting two jets of glue out of its face. The Velvet Worm, Phylum onychophora. Look how cute. Until then, stay curious, Stay connected, 
and never stop evolving.